ahead. I'm Dylan Black. The Ottawa Storytellers are back at it again Thursday, February 21st. It's Dracula, a tale of blood and darkness with all the details right now. Dean Verger is with us. He's a storyteller with the Ottawa Storytellers. Good to have you here. Good day. It's lovely to be here. I thought you'd maybe dress up as the Count himself. No, I don't need to act the part. This is telling. Completely uh. different or a related act, uh, art form. Okay. Ottawa Storytellers, we've had you on the show before, the Storytellers. So for those who don't know what you're all about, a brief history of the organization? Started in around 1982, so that's what? Almost, a th that's more than a third of a century that we've been around, mm -hmm. so 36 or so years. And we love to tell tales. People gather together in the beginning, told stories to each other, real stories, fairy tales, folk tales, literary tales, and I'm interested in the big tales, yeah. such as Dracula. Dracula. Okay, so, so what is this classic tale all about? What is Dracula all about? Well, people may remember Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, mm -hmm. and she began this gothic horror uh, style of telling, uh, writing novels, and then that created a new genre, Dracula, a vampire who invades England, and unless a small group of people can find him and kill him, he will proliferate. More and more vampires will be in England. Mm. And who knows what happens after that. Terrifying. Yes. 1897, the original book came out? That's right. Okay. So that's going back a fair ways. What, 120 years ago? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so the original book, 500 pages, correct? Mm -hmm. So you are taking this 500-page book, you're turning it into a 90-minute performance? Oh, have you ever tried to trim a tree? You've got the perfect tree, <laughs> but there's too many branches and not enough sunlight coming yeah, through? Yeah. That's what I had to do. I had to go through that book and find out what is necessary to tell the core of that story and to get the emotion across, to get all of the acts that people know should be in the book. Um, think of it. If you haven't actually read that long book yet, now's your chance to hear what the book is mm -hmm. and not have to spend the next 20 hours sitting down reading when you can listen to it in 95 minutes. That's wonderful. Okay, uh, but is it a challenge though? To, I mean, it, Oh, it was a challenge, to yeah. To put stuff on the cutting room floor, so to speak? It's heartbreaking sometimes. There are some pieces, we're talking about gothic horror, and yet there's humor in there. How do I reach inside and pull some of those very funny pieces out and leave them there when they're so, to me, integral to the story? It's, mm -hmm. it, it is very, very difficult to do. Okay. And I've had to bounce it off people, see whether it works. Okay. So, so to become a good storyteller, I mean, naturally, I can tell that you just love you love to you love to present. You love to, but you actually took on a coach for this. This one I in did. particular, Jennifer Cayley. Uh, people re may know of Mask Multicultural Arts in the Schools and Community. They may know of the epic series that happened at the National Arts Center. Jennifer Cayley was instrumental in that, and she has been going to places like France to develop her own skills. She's brought so much to our rehearsals, to our, uh, the formation of this story, in that she is more than a mirror to me, and she is someone who can give me that other perspective and allow mm -hmm. me to grow as an artist. Super important. It is. Yeah. Okay, uh, there are different characters. It's not just about Dracula uh, in this book. <laughs> No, you have a small crew of people, Lucy Weston Ra, you have Mina Murray, uh, you have Mina Murray's fiance, Jonathan Harker, and then a small crew of really good friends who are Dr. Uh, John Seward, uh, Sir Arthur Holmwood, Quincy P. Morris. I love Quincy P. Morris, he's a Texan. I can tell. And these people interact together and then form a team that have to go out into the world hunt down this monster. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you, you did use the word monster. Is this appropriate for kids to check out? I, would, I wouldn't want a small child, my small child, I wouldn't want a six or an eight or a ten year, maybe a ten year old, but there are more graphic things that these children watch these days mm -hmm. than are in this story. This story reaches into the imagination. If you have a child who already plays violent games, easy. Okay. Uh, so I would suggest 12-year-olds and up. Okay. 
Uh, what is the number one key to telling a good story? Being in the present. The teller cannot know what is going to come next. The teller cannot telegraph to the audience that something's going to happen. Rather, it's got to be in the moment and actually forget about whatever it is I'm going to tell and allow it to come out through me. Mm -hmm. And you've done a great job because I wish we could continue this inter interview and just find out more because I've, I've been hanging on to just about everything you said here. Thank you. <laughs> so you're going to come to Labo in the uh, over at 10 Daily. That's part of the <laughs> arts court. February 21st, University yeah. of Ottawa. Dean, thank you very much. Hi, thank you. Great job. Look at that. More daytime coming up.